Hey guys, it's Coach B. Why are we here? How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great Saturday. This is, yeah, this is going up on Saturday. I believe today's date is <coughs> the September 2nd or 3rd. But anyway, how are you doing today? Really quick. For those of you young ladies and gents, perhaps, I want you to understand that even though you're single now does not mean you're literally going to be single for the rest of your life. And when you feel like you're being down, depressed, you keep dating guys that don't want you, that want to use you, cheat on you, abuse you, or even if you're meeting guys who just simply don't match with what you want and aren't in alignment, they're good guys, they're just not good for you, that is okay. So when you feel yourself beating yourself up, when you feel yourself questioning yourself, like, why me? Why do I continue to attract guys who don't want to be with me long term, but my best girlfriends, my best guy friends, my cousins, people I see on TV, they seem to always get the guy. Why is it so easy for some women to get a man and me over here? I can't get one. I've been single or I get into these long distance relationships not long distance, long-term relationships, and it leads to nowhere. Why is it that what I want when it comes to relationships seems untouchable, unreachable, unattainable? If you've had any of these questions for yourself, I need for you to back that thing up. The first thing you can do is whatever that you're asking for and that, that, that you desire in your heart from the opposite sex, you want to make sure you're matching it. So whatever his fly is, you want to match his fly. If you want a God-fearing man, you need to be a God-fearing woman. If you want a um, guy that's stable, that's financially literate, that's emotionally available, that is kind, that is caring, that wants children, that takes care of himself, that goes to church every Sunday, that prays, that will tell you, affirm you, you have to do these things for yourself. So if you know you desire a guy that does these things and when you look in the mirror, you're beating yourself up, you're talking bad about yourself, calling yourself names, saying you're ugly, saying you're fat. If you're saying, oh, I'm never going to get a man. If you know that your bills are always past due, if you know that you have a messy house, if you know that you never clean your bathroom or whatever it may be, or the big one is if you know you got a junked out car, you need to think about it. Do some reevaluations instead of putting the spotlight on what has not arrived. Work on being grateful for what you do have and make some tweaks to what you're doing. Work on your habits, work on your behavioral patterns, work on what kind of person you are. What is your character really like behind the scenes? You say you want this man of God with great character, but what is your character like when no one's around, when no one's watching, or when you're amongst strangers who can't go back and tell on you and how you act to fool down at the target? So think about these things. And as you're in preparation, because that's all you're doing, as you're in preparation, the good news is, is you're only getting better day by day. So if you knew, I asked my last client in my last session that I had the other day, I said, what if you knew that your man was going to show up tomorrow, next week, in the next three months, or next year? Would you spend the time leading up to that being angry, mad, sad, and depressed? Her answer was, of course not. Then why are you doing it now? If you know in your spirit and if you believe in your heart that you are worthy, number one, do you even think you're worthy of love? That's the first question you need to ask yourself. And if you know that you're worthy of being loved, then why on God's grain are you wasting the days that are going by that God is blessing you with, with this present day, being moped down, bogged down, being depressed, mad, and sad. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. And all these days and all this energy that you're investing in being low vibe is not going to benefit you or the person you're with. And imagine also when you're in these lower vibration feelings and you're out and about, guys pick up on that. And don't know, don't know guy, find it attractive. Don't know guy, find low vibration attractive what is the word attractive <laughs> i can't even say the word a guy does not find <laughs> seeing a woman in a low vibration attractive so just keep so y'all know i'm silly so y'all just keep that and i'm not taking it out i'm literally gonna leave that in the video i'm not editing this video <laughs> so if you've made it this far the moral of the story is 
quit dragging your feet around, pick them feet up, and prepare for what's ahead of you. And be grateful and make the necessary tweaks to yourself along the way. All right, guys, that was an extension to a TikTok video. I did two today. But this video was an extension of a TikTok video I did earlier today. So, Coach B. Wiley on everything. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, of course here, and Twitter. But the main place that I'm on is TikTok number one, Instagram number two. Oh, speaking of Instagram, I did a collaboration today. It's a quick 15-minute video, and it's all about how to communicate effectively with your mate. So check that out. I did that with um i forget the name of their mate it's called mate it's on my instagram so go ahead and look them up it's right there on my instagram check the video out if you want to learn quick tips on how to communicate effectively and then i wrote a book a quick ebook it's on my coachbwiley.com how to commute uh, how to communicate effectively with your mate is the name of my book i've been writing these quick little ebooks and i'll be forgetting how to write wrote them and i'll upload them and they're for sale and i'll forget that i wrote one until somebody buy it so all right guys that's what i got for you today hope you enjoy your saturday it is a labor day weekend hope you're not laboring because i'm not anymore i'm done for today and i'll probably do a little bit of work tomorrow but outside of that guys talk to you later thanks for watching